Pug Nation. Hello everybody, welcome back. Pug Nation here. Um, as you can see, I've made a few changes to my backyard here in the Pug House. I widened the walkway here a little bit. I replaced the wood for some cobblestone. I think it looks a little bit more... Uh, it looks like it meshes a little bit better, and it looks a little bit less like an NPC village, which I also like. And all of our potatoes have grown, so we're going to start moving crops from here over to our automatic wheat farm, which, honestly, guys, still haven't finished. <laughs> it's exactly the same as it was in episode 8, so uh, going to have to go over there and finish that, maybe the next episode. Uh, and also, as you can see, I expanded the, expanded the yard a little bit, and, oh, what's this? What is it? It doesn't seem like it, it does anything. But, uh, whoa. whoa! Hey, look at that! <laughs> this is a little uh, secret passage I built, guys, with the uh, with the uh, uh, sticky pistons or with the uh, excuse me with the slime balls that I got in the last episode. I made this little contraption. Uh, how it works? It's a little. Just hit this button here. Excuse me. Hit this button here. Stairs go down, grass comes back out, and it is nice and hidden. Now, I hit it uh, kind of haphazardly, did this a, this part a little bit quickly. Um, obviously, there, you could probably do it uh, so it's a little less conspicuous. You can find a more natural way to do it, for instance, covering it with half slabs. But right here, there's uh, pistons here, so I had to try to cover those up. So, uh... So yeah, I hope you guys like that. Um, I'll show you what's going on here in just a second. Uh, I'm not going to do a tutorial of how to build this in this episode. Um, I actually have linked below in the description uh, my first tutorial video, which is how to do this kind of mechanism, this kind of secret passage mechanism. And there's actually a, a couple of other fun applications for the same kind of uh, uh, circuit. So yeah, go ahead and check out that tutorial, guys. It's a really it's a really good video, really informative, and there's lots of fun stuff you can do with this. So definitely check it out in the description. Um, the reason it takes so long to do isn't because the circuit is really poor, it's because I, I put it on a delay on purpose so that you had enough time to run over here and actually see kind of what's going on, because I think it looks pretty neat. <laughs> but anyways, what I'm gonna do with this Again, yes, you can make that go faster, but I have it delayed. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to turn this into a vault. Right now, my inventory is really, uh, it's really all over the place. <laughs> and I hate having an un unorganized inventory. So we're going to go ahead and turn this into kind of a, a secret vault. And real quick before we do that, I just want to kind of show you what's going on back here. Um, it's ugly. Uh, it's definitely ugly. This is not optimized. Um, it's not compacted. Uh, I was kind of figuring this out as I went. Um, it turned out to be a little bit more complicated than I thought it would be. As you can see, I had to implement these two T flip-flops here. Uh, ended up being a little bit more complicated than I thought, which is why the room kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, and then I ended up taking away a bunch of what I didn't need, so... Yeah, de definitely not optimized, definitely messy. Uh, didn't feel like going back and cleaning it up though because I figured, eh, no one will ever see this part, so uh, I didn't really care about it. <laughs> but it's completely functional. Uh, this is the delay. This, the input comes down here and it delays through here. I could, you know, get rid of these and it won't take as long to open, but I wanted to do that just so we could see it in action. I'm just going to cover this back up, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to start digging out our vault. Ooh. Hey guys, check this out. <laughs> it looks like we just dug into the side of the pit, huh? Oh, that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll make a little, uh... Might make a little walkway or something. I don't know. That'd be a cool little view. A secret passageway to this view. I don't know. Kind of neat. Wasn't expecting that. Um, anyways, we're getting... We're wrapping up uh, right around now. Let me just finish digging this out. And I'm going to clean it up by adding some 
uh, clean stone to all this dirt in this area and then we'll start putting boxes in here I'm going to put a row of uh, um, uh, excuse me I'm going to put a row of furnaces there uh, also I was thinking you with this mechanism it would be nice if you could close the door after you once you're down there so if I have any redstone left and it's quite possible that I don't 13 ah, I don't think that's going to be enough Oh man, only 13 left. I can't believe that. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think it'll be nice to ha be able to have the ability to uh, close the door after you. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a switch, a button uh, down here on the bottom side. I need to be able to reach here. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to do it. Oh man, with 13 that is. Only 13. Oh, well, we'll have to do that later. So later in another episode when I have more redstone, I'll put a button down here so you can hit the button and then you will be able to close the uh, close this up behind you. I think that'll be a nice addition because right now it's, you just seem a little bit exposed. Anyways, let's go ahead and clean this up a bit. Dig this out a little bit. And I'm trying to think, I think it would be pretty neat to kind of somehow incorporate this into the the uh, design, um, or rather into this vault. I don't know how to do it right now though, <laughs> so I'm just going to wall it off. For now, we'll be back. Alright everybody, we are almost done. Uh, I ran out of clean stone, so there's still a couple uh, spots on the wall that are uh, not totally filled in. But we got the hard part done, we got the tedious part done, we've dug out our room. About time. Uh, go ahead, I'm going to start. Uh, cooking up some of this cobblestone so we can uh, get some more clean stone. I also want this whole wall to just be furnaces anyways. So I'm going to go ahead pop a bunch of these in. And oh! Okay, so we got a wall of 12 furnaces and to make this kind of look like a uh, chimney or not a chimney, but I just like the way this looks. I'm going to put some uh, Put some uh, brick on there, bricks that I found earlier, and make it uh, about something like something like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'll put one here too. I like that better. Yeah, we'll put that there. All right, uh, let's put some torches here, there, and there. Yeah, one workbench. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I don't have any wood, though. Let's put that there. Uh, yeah, wow, I really don't... That's funny. I don't have any wood to make boxes with. That's silly. That was kind of a silly thing to forget when you're making a storage room. <laughs> that's alright. Plenty of trees I can chop down. I'll do that later. Uh, we'll just finish the room, though, and get it kind of looking the way I want it to look. Uh, also, let's start cooking, uh, start cooking. Alright, well, while those are cooking, let's go ahead and harvest these potatoes. Go ahead and replant these, and then I'm going to head over to our automatic redstone farm and patch some of that up, because I'm sick of, I'm sick of doing this by hand. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's get that up and ready to go. And looking nice. I also need to get some more wood anyways, and there aren't really that many trees down here. I mean, there are these, but I don't want to cut them down because, frankly, I like the way they look. So, we're going to leave those standing. We got poisonous potato. Huh. I don't know what that is, actually. Apparently, some of the potatoes you can get are poisonous. Did not know that. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. Let's get some buckets. We're gonna need some buckets for water to complete our to complete our redstone farm. Probably gonna cut the camera here and meet you guys over at the farm. See ya. All right, we're on our way back to the farm. Almost there. Uh, eventually, like I keep kind of alluding to, eventually I would really like to build a rail service that connects my uh, area I have over here to this farm over here. I'm thinking of kind of like an elevated rail that runs through here, crosses this gap, and either make the station here or over there where I'm going to have the button 
for uh, that toggles the uh, pistons here on and off. Let's go ahead and let's uh, start planting this. Get at least get it growing, because that's the most time-consuming part of this whole uh, farm operation. So we'll start working on that. Click, 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 click. This really isn't that bad, actually. It doesn't take too long to uh, plant this whole thing. And uh, the time you save harvesting and, and making sure you're not trampling your crops and all that is definitely worth it for sure. Let's go ahead and let's start digging this channel. Put the water there. And just start digging it out. Alright, so... Uh, not sure how far I'm going to dig this. Not really sure where I am. Let's go ahead and dig a little pilot. I don't even know what you call this. A little pilot hole so I can get a clue. Yes, never, never, never dig up straight up in Minecraft. I know. I know, I know, but... I know I'm going to be safe here. Alright, so... I would say I kind of want it to be in the basement of a building. I kind of want the collection area to be in the basement of a building that I'm going to build up here. It's nice and flat, naturally. I mean, it's naturally flat. I didn't even, didn't even have to smooth this out. And it's kind of cool because it has this neat view of... No. This is the one area of Shapoopy where sheep are not allowed because you will trample my crops. And you already did, see? <laughs> Darn you, sheep! Anyways, yeah, so I'm thinking maybe the rail will come through there. And it'll kind of... I'm either going to have the station there or I'm going to have it just kind of hit the surface there. And then it'll dock here. It'll get off the rails. You'll come, you know, over here or so. Flip, I'll have that switch wired. Excuse me, Burp City. Uh, <laughs> I'll have that switch wired so that it's up here. Flip the switch and you'll have a cool view of your crops being washed away. Wait a couple minutes and not even a couple minutes. I mean, and it'll wash down into here. And you will have a collection area in the basement of, you know, whatever the structure ends up being. Looking forward to it. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, wow, look at what I did to my bedroom. <laughs> it's all ruined. Uh, well, whatever. It's a temporary room anyways. It's a temporary room. I don't really care. Totally trashed this hotel room. and just dug a giant hole into it. How rude. Like a rock star. Alright, let's eat up. Eat my baked potatoes. I love baked potatoes. I keep forgetting that they give you more, uh, chicken nuggets than bread. I'm so used to, uh, making these automated wheat farms. Or these auto farms and having them, uh putting wheat on them. I still don't know what this poisonous potato does. I'm kind of curious about that. Leave a comment. Tell me what it does. Let me know. Why Why is it here? What is its purpose? Is it like a potion? Did they change potions at all? Potions are another thing. I, I, don't, I don't do enough to know that much about them. But we should do that soon. We should go to the nether very, very soon. Perhaps in the next episode? Let me know what you think. Um, I do want to get this building built in the next episode and get that rail line going though. I think that would be really cool. Uh, God, there's so many there's so many things I want to do. Still, guys, still don't know what we're doing up there. Uh, it's gonna be epic though. Let me tell you that much. It's gonna be epic. Alright, well, now that we have things cooking here that we have to wait for before we can start beautifying this, let's go to our other area where we had clean stone cooking and finish up our vault ah never get tired of that view guys <laughs> all right so we're back to the puck house uh and he my liege he looks over everything ah oh, guys okay i have a confession to make maybe you notice that this diamond sword is not enchanted you see that not not my enchanted sword i have a confession to make to you right now uh, that intro, the little intro clip, <laughs> and I did something stupid. That little intro clip in the beginning of this video, I filmed it, for some reason, I filmed it on this map, on this uh, on this seed, on this save, uh, and I changed the game mode to creative to do it, and I accidentally threw out, threw out the, the Bane of Arthropod sword with the knockback one. I threw it out. 
Uh, which was very sad for me. I, I switched it to creatives because that shot with the creeper uh, took like 20 takes. I kept getting blown up because you guys know how awful I am <laughs> timing things with creepers. So I, I used the creeper spawn egg uh, in creative mode and accidentally threw up my sword. So I cheated, I did cheat, and I, I gave myself another diamond sword to kind of make up for it so actually let's enchant this I'm only gonna put that sword had eight levels of enchantment on it so I'm actually penalizing myself eight levels of enchanting when you think about it oh wow guys that is a drag yeah that is a major league punishment my old sword had arthropods bane of arthropods 2 and knockback one this one same number of levels, only knockback one. That, that'll that teach me. That'll learn ya. <sighs> alright. That's alright. Down into the secret vault we go. Hopefully these are all done cooking and it looks like they are. Let's go ahead and patch this vault up as best we can. With what we have. Finish putting in the ceiling. And then I'm going to add a nice little, uh, excuse me, ah, burping. Just ate too much, uh, cookie dough ice cream. <laughs> going to put a nice little trim around the entire, the entire, uh, vault here. Going to need clean stone and cobblestone. Don't tell me I left all my, okay, good, yeah. I forgot I had all this cobblestone here. I was like, don't tell me I left it all in the other location <laughs> by the wheat farm. That would be so sad. That would be so sad if I had to walk all the way back there. Which is another reason why we need the railroad. It will make my trip easier. It will also mean I can do it 24 hours a day. Is that really all I cooked? There we go. There's a few more. Alright. So, how do I want to style this, guys? We're going to do... Uh, we'll do... Hmm. Alright, so we're going to put boxes here. Is how we're going to do it. We have a box, like, here. And then we'll have a box on top of that. And I'm going to have a sign over it saying what's in the boxes so that it's nice and organized for me. Uh, I like to keep it organized, otherwise I get confused and yeah, no no good, no good. <laughs> Actually, let's do cobble there. Cobble there. Let's make some cobble stairs. I'm going to do some... Try to make this look a little... Try to make it look a little cool, I don't know. I know it's just a vault underground and that the cool part is the redstone mechanism to get into it, but you know Pug Nation travels in style. <laughs> Alright, so I'm getting carried away here again. So we'll do pillars like that, uh, something like that, put like a, uh... that looks pretty cool. I'm kind of liking that. I'm digging that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and... Hmm. <laughs> Maybe invert what I have here. See, I can't make up my mind. We'll do... Yeah, we'll do it that way. I like that better. Hold on. I'm talking to myself right now. You guys have no idea what I'm thinking, but I'm just saying it. <laughs> I'll show you. There. I'll show you what I mean. Cobblestone. All right, that's pretty cool. Then do 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 do. All right, that's pretty cool. I dig that. And yeah, we'll just make those columns all the way around. All right, guys, I think I finished it up for the most part. Let me show you what I got here. So let's hit our button open up my secret passageway and have a look at how the vault turned out. What do you guys think of these columns? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty simple. Not too much. I moved the crafting table down here. Uh, eventually, of course, we'll put it somewhere where there are bookshelves, but I don't have any leather to make bookshelves, so for now I'll keep that there, and voila! I ran out of wood, so yeah, so that's all we got there. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? I think it turned out really well. I like how this 
Uh, this will definitely help me out. I'm going to put signs here kind of saying what's in the chests, which will help out this horrible, horrible inventory, which I can't stand looking at. And I'll finally have a centralized place to craft things and store things and cook things and uh, all that good stuff. So, <laughs> with that, we are finally done with this episode. Uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you liked what you saw and you would like to see more videos like this. Uh, I'm trying to release at least three to four Let's Play videos a week. Uh, sometimes, depending on what my work schedule is, it can get a little difficult to do. Uh, lately, I have been heavy at work in real life. Uh, so it is a little tough to get out uh, four or five videos a week, but I am trying. Um, and I hope I will see you soon. Again, please check out the tutorial. Uh, I will have a link at the end of the video, and also it is down in the description if you want to see how to uh, make this happen. And also uh, at least one other fun thing to do with this kind of... Uh, uh, redstone mechanism. So, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Pug Nation here. Goodbye. See you next time. Take care. Here's another fun use of the exact same mechanism. If you're too cool to walk on cobblestone, who can blame you? Why not roll out the red carpet? Set it up. And walk across, there you go, like a rock star.